Hatred number 5, Boyish Image and Its Consequences Let's admit it right away, the 8th generation Honda Accord received the status of a boy car right away, inheriting it from the Accord with serial number 7. The owners honestly write in their reviews, this is a purely boyish car, and it brings emotions, like at 20 years old, when you receive the keys from any four-wheeled friend whom you are glad to see every morning, realizing that he is faithfully waiting for you in the parking lot for a ride with the wind. Moreover, they admit that although they are no longer 20 or 30, driving an accordion once again awakens in them a 20-year-old guy in a four, a big fan of pushing the throttle. In general, a kind of youth sports business class, luring with its aggressive appearance everyone who wants to ride down the main street with an orchestra, attracting the glances of passers-by, especially those who are younger, and even belong to the opposite sex. And this is where the problems begin. A young man, buying such a car, does not have a very good idea of how much proper and regular maintenance costs, and in general he has no time for that, he wants to drive, drive and drive. But the naturally aspirated engine needs to be turned, so it turns it almost to the cutoff and passes speed bumps without braking. Here the breakdowns begin, and it turns out that the spare parts are not cheap at all. And the collective farm begins, well, combined with the fact that in traffic light races the Accord constantly loses even to much less powerful cars, the car is completely killed, put up for sale and the owner is changed, to another similar boy. As a result, it is very difficult to find an Accord in a live state, on the secondary market there are a lot of cars that have passed through the hands of at least three or four owners, with duplicate titles, and this is especially alarming, given that at one time the model was very popular with hijackers, with twisted mileage, repeatedly repainted, with dead interiors and real problems with the engine. So you should be prepared for an oil burner, and for replacing the timing chain, and for the need to intervene in the suspension, and for replacing the crackling VTEC clutch. In a word, buying the 8th Accord for the last money is clearly not worth it, and bringing the car to life after the purchase is unlikely to cost less than hundreds of thousands of rubles, and this is if you are lucky to find a decent copy that has spent all the last years in the same caring hands. The only consolation is that after the necessary investments for several years you will spend money only on consumables, of course, with competent and proper maintenance. But if you buy a car after a lot of owners, with mileage twisted from 250,000 to something like 123,841, then disappointment is inevitable. By the way, a significant part of the negative reviews clearly refer to such cases. Love number 5, The Most Beautiful Sedan Even the haters of the 8th Accordion admit in their reviews that Accord as a design project is a chic device. There are, of course, those who do not really like the appearance of the car, and among them there are many fans of the previous generation of the model Honda has also slipped into a dull Korean design. In their opinion, the seventh Accord, like the previous ones, was exactly what is called a sports sedan light, fast, manageable, slender, and the last two are just some behemoths. When an athlete finishes with a big sport, he is often not sickly spreads in size. The previous Accord seemed to have arrived from a neighboring planet. And this swollen monster was drawn by designers with low self-esteem in a state of depression and after a terrible hangover. But still, in a much larger number of reviews, the authors say that they fell in love with Accord 8 at first sight. Particularly attractive in this regard is the Accord Type S, in the jargon of Hondavads, Tups or Taipua, with its 18-inch wheels and aerodynamic body kit. I was driving along the third transport ring near the Lefertovo tunnel and saw something. This something was a bright red Taipua, and here the end came to me. I fell in love with this car immediately and irrevocably. In general, the average point of view says that the appearance is the bomb, that its appearance was futuristic at the time when the car was just entering the market, but remains relevant to this day, and that in general this is the most beautiful sedan. The debate can only go on in which color the Accord looks better, in red, which adds aggression, black, which gives that very solidity, or silver, which is the coolest, since all the bulges and concavities are emphasized by the shadow, the car becomes embossed, and all edges and faces are clearly visible. But the body of the 8th Accord is also worth looking at from a purely practical point of view, for example, from the point of view of aerodynamics. 
Owners describe this paradoxical situation, when traveling in rain or snow, the front windows and the area of the side mirrors remain clean, but as soon as you open the window, you get wet trim and doors and an equally wet left pant leg. And, of course, you should pay attention to the small, only 150 mm, ground clearance and plastic bumper covers hanging above the ground. It's hard in winter, especially in the yards, I collect everything with this magnificent body kit, speed bumps are all mine, various types of natal buys, icings are mine, deep snow is mine, when I hit the curb, I get out to put the bumper back on. And it's easier to rest against it a large hood and a low driver's seat make it impossible to estimate the distance to an obstacle. In general, in many reviews, the owners say that they tint the bumper after every winter. Well, when reversing, you should be especially careful, the racks are wide, the slope of the rear window is large, and if you poke into the curb with the exhaust system, the repair may not be cheap at all. And parking sensors are far from being available in all trim levels, and if they are not, then you should take care of installing them, and in a circle. Hate number 4, Paintwork and Weak Metal But the reviewers not only admired the beauty of the body of the 8th Accord, many reviews contain quite serious criticism. Firstly, many complain about the metal of the body panels itself. The most categorical critics generally write that the body is made of foil, and it's disgusting to close the door because it is light, like cardboard. In a number of reviews, owners note that the rear edge of the hood vibrates at speed, and this produces a rather strange impression. But this is not so bad. The trouble is that in prayer styling cars equipped with a sunroof, the roof is massively deformed, and waves form along the perimeter of the hatch, cracks have appeared on the roof along the perimeter of the hatch. The service center looked at it and said that we shouldn't open the hatch at speed and fall into potholes. But body parts suffer not only from insufficient strength, but also from not the highest corrosion resistance, rust spreads with instant speed from any slight chip of paint. On my car there is enough of this both on the hood and on the trunk lid, as well as on the roof pillar and the roof itself, the body in St. Petersburg is rotting from our climate, and nothing can be done about it the fenders are new all around, the bottom of the door was also painted. Mileage 135,000 km, and all mine. There are even more complaints about poor paintwork associated with the switch to water-based paints. In many reviews, the authors complain that the body has to be polished annually, after each winter, and repainted once every five years. And it's better not to drive into an automatic car wash, you'll leave with a bunch of small scratches, and one of the owners remembered that, throwing a couple of boxes into the back seat, he scratched the varnish near the rear pillar. Imagine, scratched with cardboard. And this whole situation is exacerbated by the high cost of body parts, which were not very cheap even before the sanctions, and now they will cost exorbitant prices. Love number 4, Cabin Quality That's really something, and the owners mostly praise the salon and its equipment. And why not praise high-quality plastic, soft, the leather on the steering wheel and on the seats is pleasant to the touch, the cabin looks like an airplane cockpit, all controls are in place, everything is perfectly readable, the armrest is adjustable for reach. The owners generally praise the ergonomics of the Accord, and very amicably the landing is low, like in a racing car, the steering column is adjustable both in tilt and reach, the gas pedal, like in sports cars, is long and attached to the floor, you feel such a pedal the entire surface of the foot. The brake pedal is so wide that you can put two feet you won't miss. And the Accord is equipped quite decently, dual zone climate control, cruise control, automatic closers for all windows, a very good standard audio system with standard USB and AUX inputs, a rain sensor. By the way, in terms of music, everything is ambiguous. Cars of the first releases were scolded for poor radio reception, they say, as soon as you leave the Moscow Ring Road, it doesn't catch anything, and the monochrome display did not quite correspond to the status. But the top versions, especially after restyling, are praised by the owners, first of all, for the presence of a subwoofer and high-quality sound. But the authors of the reviews devote most of the good words to the drivers and front passengers' seats, super seats, I hunted for them, great chairs with lateral support, I really like the seats, they comfortably fix the body when moving. 
it is clear that you will not be nice to everyone. Someone complains that they have been looking for their landing for a very long time and found it only with great difficulty, for some American wide seats seem too soft, someone thinks that tall drivers will have problems, but the ladies complain that the Accord a purely masculine car, because miniature ladies in armchairs simply drown. The author of one of the reviews writes that for him the unremovable hump of the lumbar support turned out to be the root of evil, and until he dismantled the seat and threw this very support away, he constantly felt uncomfortable. But there are still more stories that you can spend a day driving in the Accord chairs, and without much fatigue. Hate number 3, Cabin Capacity But the owners assessed the situation in the second row of seats not so well. According to them, it's a bit cramped there. An entry and exit for rear passengers is not very convenient, but the main thing is that there is not enough legroom and the culprit is the very seats of the driver and passenger. They are very massive, and their dimensions literally eat up the interior space. When I normally sit behind me, it's a bit cramped, my knees practically rest against me, and a three-year-old child in a child's seat kicks his feet on the back of the seat. In general, theoretically, the Accord is a five-seater car, but driving with five is frankly inconvenient. There are certain questions about the trunk. On the one hand, 460 liters with a tail it seems to be not enough, but in the seventh generation the trunk was a hundred liters more. However, the main problems are created by the configuration of the luggage compartment the trunk is deep, tapering closer to the back of the rear seats, with a rather narrow loading opening. According to the owners, even two wheels fit in with great difficulty, and even that second wheel must be stuffed carefully so as not to tear or bend anything. To get something from the depths without wiping the dirty bumper with trousers is almost impossible. It is clear that packages from the supermarket are transported without any problems, but it can be very difficult to accommodate several suitcases. One thing pleases, the rear seat backs fold down, which makes it possible to carry long items. And only the owners of rather rare Accord Tourer station wagons boast, for a modern family, the car fits in all respects. For transportation of pets, for example, dogs, the trunk has a removable dividing mesh curtain. But in general, according to the owners, the 8th Accord is not for those who are looking for roominess, since it is fully consistent with Honda's philosophy, a car for the driver, the convenience of passengers is secondary. Love number 3, Headlight The fact that the 8th generation Honda Accord was created with a clear eye on the American market is felt in many ways. Fortunately, this focus on the United States did not touch the headlight in many reviews, the authors note that the headlights illuminate the road to a solid 5. Headlights with standard by Xenon sources are especially good, excellent factory Xenon, at night, it illuminates the highway very well and does not blind anyone, light with cornering illumination, well, the by Xenon is gorgeous, bright, unobtrusive, absolutely everything is visible, the headlights are not blind, like many Japanese, there is no need to collective form anything. The owners really like the system of automatic switching from low beam to high beam and back, which the 8th Accord received during restyling, the automatic headlight switching function is generally a bomb. It's just beautiful on the track, you drive, and the car switches the lights itself. Of course, there are a couple of fly in the ointment for every barrel of honey. Firstly, the headlight washers work synchronously with the windshield washers, and this, of course, dramatically increases the washer fluid consumption. Owners complain that it takes off almost faster than gasoline. Secondly, when the Accord entered the market, the presence of daytime running lights was not yet considered mandatory. As a result, some owners decided that the simplest solution to the problem was to make a night and seal the light sensor with electrical tape, let the headlights light up when the ignition is turned on and work all the time. Others preferred to use fog lights as running lights, and here they ran into some kind of ambush. Fog lights on the 8th Accord are located very low, and the glass in them is rather weak. Not only do they willingly catch pebbles and fight, but they also burst with the constant operation of the PTF in wet weather. Original glasses were expensive before, at least 7,000 rubles, and now all hope is for Chinese online flea markets. Hate number 2, Dynamics, Noise Isolation, Fuel Consumption 
Soichiro Honda is certainly one of the best auto designers of the 20th century. His technologies are admired, and business ideas can be safely adopted by people like Elon Musk. Soichiro died in 1991, which means that the eighth generation of the Accord was developed without his participation, otherwise this car might have looked exactly the same, but its character would have been completely, completely different. Because the great auto designer would hardly have allowed a situation in which the main reason for the dissatisfaction of the owners would be the lack of dynamics. Harakiri to that marketer. The car is not moving, it's really stupid for acceleration, it's like there's enough dope, but it's barely going, there are 170 real Maras there, no more. It looks better than it rides, the reviews are full of such, and even harsher, statements. Particularly affected are those who bought the Type S package with an automatic transmission after all, despite the body kit, it accelerates to hundreds in the same 9.7 seconds. Cars with a 2-liter engine are even slower if their acceleration to 100 km h takes 10.9 seconds. Accordions with a manual transmission, of course, are much faster and perform the same exercise in 7.9 seconds, but for a sports sedan this is too much. The owners are very offended that the 201 horsepower Accord and the 170 horsepower Mazda 6 accelerate in exactly the same way that the Kia Rio can also win from a traffic light, only the Accord's consumption is much higher, where do the declared 200 Maras spend their energy with such dynamics? They're probably eating up my gas. And the situation with fuel consumption does look ambiguous. Let's start with the 2-liter versions, which, in theory, should be quite economical. Many owners fully agree with this thesis, on the highway 5.9 to 6.5 L slash 100 kilometers, in the city 9.6 to 10.5. But not everyone does this, and some reviews give completely different figures, December 5th, 15 L slash 100 kilometers in summer, 14 to 25 in winter. And even more heated discussions flare up when discussing the consumption of 2.4 liter engines. Some argue that with careful driving in the city, you can keep within 10 liters, and on the highway 6.5 to 7 liters if you go on a cruise. They object that in the city with active driving and 17 is not the limit, maybe 20, but on average it turns out 14 to 16 liters per hundred. Well, on the highway yes, if you drive measuredly, it turns out 7.8 to 9.5 L slash 100 kilometers, but if you want to drive and light it up, then prepare 18 to 25 liters for every 100 kilometers. And the reasons for this are clear, the atmospheric engine with the IVTEC system wakes up only when it is spun up to 4000 RPM. Add in the stretched gears of an automatic transmission, and it becomes clear why owners scold their cars in the city and praise them on the highways. After all, where the Accord is exactly good is at decent speeds. That's just with such a ride, there is another reason for disappointment oil consumption, which even officially can reach 1 liter per 1,000 kilometers, eating oil is a disgrace, where is the vaunted quality? Yes, yes, now many manufacturers have the same problems, but the Accord eats both fuel and oil, but does not go. The owners are indignant. And if even with a quiet ride, a liter of oil is enough for you for 3 to 5,000 kilometers, this is not entirely normal, such an expense indicates that it is time to change the valve stem seals. But if Bayan eats more, this is highly likely to indicate stuck piston rings, which means it's time to collect money for repairs. And for dessert, soundproofing. It is also evaluated very differently in the reviews, some for 5 with a minus, others, at best for 3. Some believe that only will arches are hurt inside, and even then only when you drive on gravel and sand, others that it is simply impossible to talk at high speed. Love number 2, Ride Comfort and Handling Yes, the Accord is not designed to dig under the asphalt during vigorous starts from a standstill. But as a cruiser, it is exceptionally good. The car keeps the trajectory perfectly, confidently, without jumps, wobbles and other unpleasant sensations, even with strong gusts of wind or in sections with longitudinal rutting, although in this case, of course, a lot depends on the tires and famously goes through fast turns. 
In general, the suspension of this car is very specific, on the one hand, it is quite soft, without excessive rigidity, but at the same time it is very elastic. This combination provides comfort on small bumps, but when entering corners at higher speeds, it seems to be clamped. Hence all the excitement about handling. At the same time, the 5-speed automatic switches very smoothly, almost imperceptibly, without jerks and kicks, and the artificially loaded electric power steering creates a feeling of comfortable control and allows you to accurately set the trajectory of movement. As a result, these suspension and steering settings are best suited for long trips, at speed, the Accord rides as smoothly as if you were sailing on a ship. The excellent performance of the stabilization systems, which do not allow you to skid, even if such a desire arises, also adds confidence. However, there are those who complain about excessive rigidity, and first of all, naturally, the owners of Type S, the 18th slippers are beautiful, but how stiff they are. While driving along the glorious roads of the Volga region, I thought I'd leave the suspension along with my ass in the step. Hate number 1, the price of the 201st horse. There's one issue that the owners touch on in one way or another in almost all reviews. In any case, the owners of the pre-styling Honda Accord, which have a power of 201 horsepower in their vehicle passports. It is not the amount of transport tax that upsets them at all even for a person with an average income, it is not so difficult to give the state 13 to 15,000 rubles once a year. They are upset that for exactly 200 horses you need to pay only 10,000, and 3 to 5,000 have to be overpaid for who knows what, because it's simply unrealistic to feel a power difference of one horsepower, and official data on the acceleration of pre-styling cars, with 201 horses under hood, and after restyling, with exactly 200, are no different. And it's also a shame that both 200 and 201 forces go like 150 from competitors, and the authors of the reviews unanimously begin to sing an aria from Strauss's operetta The Bat, for what, for what, oh, my god, for what, for what, oh my god. Love number 1, Reliability. But the main advantage of the 8th Accord, its owners, no doubt, consider its reliability. Wait. A well-read motorist will say. But what about the stories with the steering rack, with the cams of the exhaust camshaft, with the gear and clutch of the VTEC mechanism, with internal CV joints, with the timing chain? I am silent about the stunted native battery with a capacity of 45 ah, the capabilities of which are clearly not enough in regions with a cold climate. All this is true, at one time we spoke in detail about how the body, interior, electrics and chassis feel, and about possible problems with engines and gearboxes. It turns out that the probability of running into real problems when buying an Age Accord is quite high. Here are just the owners unanimously write in the reviews, for 6 years of ownership from the date of purchase, no serious breakdowns, for 10 years, I don't remember a single major repair that would have eaten more than 30 to 40 thousand rubles, and even 30 to 40 can be counted on the fingers of one hand, this is my first used car, which in 5 years did not require anything other than scheduled maintenance. For almost 14 years of operation, one of the serious investments was the repair of the steering rack, but it was my own fault I missed the moment with anthers. Everything is just like that. The accordion is very sensitive to the quality and regularity of maintenance, it requires attention, high quality consumables and technical fluids. Many people write that in Russian conditions, the recommended service interval of 15,000 kilometers is detrimental to the engine and that in order for the engine to serve for a long time, the oil must be changed every 7 to 8,000 kilometers and always monitor its level. It is with rare oil changes and driving on low-quality fuel that the oil scraper rings most often become stuck, and driving with a low oil level in the engine leads to the fact that the cementation of the exhaust camshaft cams begins to deteriorate, and in the most advanced cases, the liners can turn. The Accord suspension is distinguished by its durability, as a rule, serious intervention is required for runs of more than 200,000 kilometers. Naturally, if the previous owners did not have the habit of jumping over speed bumps at full throttle. But subject to proper maintenance and quiet operation, the Accord can still be called a reliable car.